Jose and Evelyn have invited you here to share an important moment in their life, to share what matters with those who matter to them. Even a global pandemic could not stop this wedding. And whatever the new normal looks like, Jose and Evelyn, you will have each other. This day will be just one of the many stories from your life together that you'll be able to share the hundredth time after many happy decades of marriage. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends friendship and becomes something so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Evelyn, you provide structure and bring Jose so much joy. Jose, you are patient and inspire Evelyn to be a better person. If you ask couples who have a strong and abiding love what they like most about their partners, many will say that when they are with that person, they don't have to pretend to be anything other than themselves. They are able to express themselves without fear of being rejected or judged. It is an equal investment of respect and compassion. Now, nothing is easier than standing here, maybe not in this heat, but saying these words, this is the easy part. Nothing is more difficult than living them day to day. When you love someone, you do not like them all the time in exactly the same way, that's impossible but that's what most of us expect. We forget the ebb and flow of life and of love and of relationships. We insist on permanence, on duration, on continuity. But in love as in life, the only stability is in change, in growth, and in freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed tomorrow and all the tomorrows to come. Look at one another and remember this moment in time for now you shall say a few words that carry you across the thresholds of life and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Evelyn, you are the love of my life. The love I've always searched for and now you're here by my side. I love your laughter, the way you look, at the funny things in life. I miss your smile when you're not around. I knew I was in love with you when you showed me your passion for music. In high school and throughout our college days, we were always in the same places, but it took us a while before that night with Freddie and Mark. And you and I of partying and to get to know each other. Starfish, I'm glad it wasn't the chat. Inside joke. <laughs> I vow to always protect, encourage, make you laugh, and care for you when you're sick. And to never steal the... <sighs> and to never steal the covers unless you're hogging them. Through good times and bad times, like not knowing which towel to pick for the bathroom, I will always be by your side. As long as we both shall live, you're my soulmate, and I can't wait to live the rest of my life with you, to build our family and our little houses. Jose, you and I both know how indecisive I can be at times. I simply don't like to make decisions. But if there's one decision in my life I know is right, is that it's to spend the rest of my life with you. Never did I imagine to find a man who adores and loves me so tirelessly the way you do. I didn't think such a person existed. You are beyond anything I could have ever dreamt of. A man whose soul is good, has a pure heart, and loves unconditionally. 
Now my vows to you are simple and true. I vow to always respect you, to be your support and encouragement in times of despair and in, time of, in times of prosperity. I promise to give you the best of myself. And as the, exi as the excitement of today fades away, and as our lives take different forms, I promise to love you just as much tomorrow as I do today. Jose and Evelyn, here on this, the 27th day of August, 2020, you have declared your union, you have spoken your vows, and you have exchanged your wedding rings. You have created for yourselves the high covenant of marriage. Therefore, before God and your loved ones, and by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. I'm so excited to be a part of your special day. I've known you for 18 years and they've gone by pretty fast. When we met at the age of 14, there wasn't much to do, but somehow, well, we had a special bond and always managed to make the best out of every situation. <laughs> From our teenage adventures to exploring different parts of the world, but most importantly, being there through all of our milestones from graduating and standing at each other's wedding. To pinpoint our best memory would be difficult, but I would have to say freshman year biology when we convinced our lab partners to switch seats so we can more conveniently chat. <laughs> Evelyn, I've seen you grow from a carefree teenager to an adventurous young adult and now a successful driven woman. I'm not the only lucky one that got to see you grow. Jose, amigo, I couldn't be happier than to see Evelyn meet such a caring and kind soul. I remember Evelyn, tell me about your first couple dates, like when you took her skiing and all the thoughtful and fun dates you planned for her. I'm overjoyed to see you guys sitting next to each other today, still adventurous and loving as you were in the beginning. I love you guys. Cheers to boys on Evelyn. Evelyn, hey dog. To see you looking beautiful in a wedding gown, man, time flies by. From all of our drunk shenanigans, you being 16 years old, buying us 18-year-old beer with Wendy's ID, to being at my wedding, to being at Freddie's wedding, I can proudly say we've been there for each other every step of the way. We're family. When Boyzo came into the picture, I've never seen you so deeply in love. She loves you, man. She really does. And I don't think she's ever letting go, based on what I've seen. I know you guys will be great with each other. I love you both, and from experience, communicate, communicate, and communicate. I love you guys very much. We're all here for a reason, to celebrate Evelyn and Boyzo's special day. We, we, we thank you for inviting us, and we know the list was short, so we all feel special for being here. <laughs> and Evelyn, I wanna say thank you for bringing Boyzo to my life, you brought him, and since the day I met him, I didn't know that he was gonna be like a brother to me. You know he makes us both proud, so with him by your side, you guys can conquer everything, everything. Nothing is gonna stop you. So thank you again for everything, Evelyn, you were amazing, you look beautiful. Boyzo, you got a, a magnificent woman by your side. To Boyzo and Evelyn, may you guys live forever and shit. <laughs>
Thank you.